Yo, what's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the St. Louis Rams franchise here on Madden 21 Current Gen as we get into the third game of the season. Rams start this season number three off at 2-0. Can they continue this run going forward? We find out today as they go back home to take on the Arizona Cardinals in the first divisional game of the year. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content in all sports because that's what we attempt to do here. We can build a winner together. Before we get into this game, Cam Akers has an opportunity once again. I believe he had one before to get himself to X-Factor. He has it again. Four touchdowns or 200 yards total is required for him to be able to get there. Can Jamal Carter get him there? It is Rams. It is Cardinals. Let's get into it. And the Cardinals will kick this one away. Back deep is Burley to return. Is he going to take it out of the end zone? No, he will not. As he downs this one in the end zone, Rams take over at their own 25. Jamal Carter has had a great start to the year. Five touchdowns, one interception so far through two games. He is playing quite well. Here goes Cam Akers on second and eight, and he will take off for a first down as the Rams pushing forward and moving the chains at their own 37-yard line. Now another second and 10. Here goes Cam Akers again, and this time he is taken down by Buda Baker. Now leaving a third and seven for Carter, throwing up the middle, and that is intercepted. He was going towards Higby. Second interception of the year by Carter. That one goes to Jordan Hicks. And the Cardinals take over with a shorter field. It's Kyler Murray coming out. He has six touchdowns, two interceptions on his season. He's been playing pretty well for the Cardinals. Let's see what Kyler's going to do. First and ten, he hands it off to James White. And White will get to the 46-yard line, a four-yard gain on first down. Second and six, Kyler across the middle. It's complete. First down to Trey Burton as the Cardinals move the chains. First and 10 from the Ram 43, throwing across the middle. That is complete again to Trey Burton. Leighton Van Der Esch having some trouble in coverage early on here. First and 10 for Kyler Murray. Look in, drops back. He intercepts, throws the interception to David Long Jr. That was such a short throw. Very surprising. His third interception of the year already in just as many games. David Long Jr. is playing really well. Here goes Cam Akers on first and ten. He'll pick up about seven and leave a second and three. 6-11 to go in the quarter. Here goes Cam Akers again. Nice little cutback as he'll pick up just enough for the first down. Third and eight now at the 43 of Arizona. A little field position battle. This one thrown to Cooper Cup at the 37-yard line, but no first down, leaving a fourth and two. Pat Pete on the tackle. Rams going to go for it on fourth and two. They give it to Jarek Francois, and he finds his way to the 21-yard line, stumbling and bumbling for 16 yards. First and 10 for Jamal Carter. He is looking for the deep one. He gets Higby down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Carter's second completion of the day. They hand it off to Cam Akers, cuts back, and finds his way to the 2-yard line. A third and goal now for the Rams. Carter... Has nowhere to go with it, and he's hit, and he fumbles the football. It is picked up by the Cardinals. Jordan Hicks injured on the play. Hopefully not too serious for him. Third and seven for the Cardinals now. Kyler Murray turns around, throws to Trey Burton for the first down and more to the 35-yard line as the Cardinals move in the chains on a first and 10 now at their own 35 as the quarter is coming to a close soon. Here's the throw right side. That is complete to the running back out of the backfield. Nice play. Third and two is left with 22 seconds. Here goes James White, and he will pick up the first down near midfield. Great play, and that will end the first quarter. We're all knotted up at nothing. We'll be right back. Back to start the second quarter. Third and eight for the Cardinals. Pressure coming, gets it away to James White, and White will be brought down behind the first down marker by Kamu Grugier Hill. And the Rams will take over. Second and nine. Here goes Cam Akers. What a run from Cam. He gets all the way near the sideline with a 12-yard run. He's got a 51 in this half. On nine carries, Cam Akers starting strong. Here's a first and 10 for the Rams. 
And Carter deep down the middle to Burley. Jeremy Burley with the big catch. Carter three of seven for 44. That early blemish starting to disappear. Second and six, here's Carter from the Cardinal 29, looking for an open man. He finds Cooper Cup. He had to turn around a little to make that play, but great adjustment by the awesome receiver. Here's Carter again looking, finds nobody. He's gonna run to the sideline. He runs up the sideline and slides into the end zone for the touchdown. Jamal Carter scores the first touchdown of the game with his legs, and the Rams will go up 7-0 here in St. Louis. Cardinals taking over on the ensuing possession. First and 10, Murray gonna try to run. He loses the football and Alex Peterson falls on it. He is gonna get up and get it down to the 15 yard line. Alex Peterson with the recovery. Seven nothing Rams and they're threatening for more. Here goes Cam Akers on the run. Bobbing and weaving to the two yard line with a total of 68 yards so far tonight. Here's the Rams on first and goal. 4.35 to go in the half. The give is to Akers, and he is in untouched for the touchdown. Ken Akers extends the Ram lead to 14-0. What a touchdown from Cam Akers, and the Rams up two scores on their division rival. Their winless division rival, I might add. Here's Kyler Murray across the middle to Christian Kirk on the ensuing possession. That's complete. Now second and two, Murray under heavy pressure and he goes down, Alex Peterson, have yourself a game. What a first half for him with a fumble recovery and a sack. Now third and 18, he's trying to get outside. Peterson misses the sack there and Murray will slide. Cardinals will have to punt with 2.58 to go in the half. Burley there to receive it and Burley takes it right side across midfield and out of bounds at the Cardinal 47, good return. Now Carter hands off to Akers. Akers stumbling and bumbling down to the 40-yard line. Nice seven-yard pickup. That leaves a second and three. Here's Carter, and he will go down. Sheldon Richardson bringing him down. 14-0, and the Rams would have to punt there. Here's the throw right side. Nice throw by Murray and an even better catch by the running back. Picking up that first down. Third and 12, they're going to give... And that is going to get to the 33-yard line with a three-yard gain. Fourth and nine, they would have to punt it away. Rams just end the clock, and we are going into the half. St. Louis on top, 14 zip. We'll be back after this. And due to it being Thursday night football, no other games have taken off, so let's get right back into this second half. Into the third quarter, Stucky in the end zone. It goes over his head, and the Cardinals will start from their own 25. Here's Kyler Murray throwing right side. He's got Trey Burton for a first down. Trey Burton has been his number one target of the evening, and that one goes for another big gain. 69 yards total for him. Very nice. There's a throw across the middle to Andy Isabella. He gets wide open on the slant route, and Isabella takes it to the 28. And another Cardinals first down. Now first and 10 for Kyler Murray and company inside the 30. Another slant route this time to DeAndre Hopkins. That's D-Hop's first catch of the game. And a very important one to pick up a first down. You want to utilize D-Hop a little bit more here down the stretch. Here's Murray on third and 10, running like a chicken with his head cut off. And Cage in on the sack. The rookie defensive tackle. Coming in on the Rams' third sack. Easy field goal attempt here from 33 yards out is good for the Cardinals. So we have a 14-3 game. Here's play fake to Cam Akers on the Rams' first possession of the half. Carter's looking for the deep ball, and he gets Higby, who immediately goes out of bounds at the Cardinal 37. Big gainer there for the Rams. Here's Carter looking for the underneath throw this time. Larry Hall is going to take it up the left sideline to the 14-yard line. And the Rams in just a couple of plays already down in the red zone. Here's third and nine. Carter's tough under pressure to Burley, who sneaks into the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. St. Louis on top, 21-3 here in the third. The latter portion of the third quarter. And now James White going to take it on the ensuing possession break, a tackle and get to the 32-yard line. Seven runs for 20, hasn't been the greatest day for White. Here he goes again on second and three, and he is brought down with a fumble. 
Luckily, Justin Pugh is able to fall on it. Here's a throw left side. D-Hop can't make the play in traffic, and the Cardinals would punt. But the Rams set up with a third and ten. Carter under pressure gets it away to Akers. Wide open for the easy first down pickup, and he is brought down at the 44-yard line of Arizona. So opportunity for St. Louis. Here's Cam Akers, and he flips it back to Jamal Carter, who fumbles the football, picked up by Larry Hall. Ooh, he saved a disaster. 21-3, third and eight for the Rams. Here's Jamal Carter looking, has a wide open. Jeremy Burley for the catch. Burley for the first down play. This went from disaster to first down, and that's how the third quarter ends. 21-3, we'll be back. McVay's pissed. And we come back to the fourth quarter. Cam Akers with a brilliant run untouched to the end zone. And obviously Sean McVay gonna be a little happier about that. He was pissed about almost losing the fumble. But now it's 28 to three, you just gotta watch out. Make sure you don't pull a Falcon. Second and inches, Kamu Grugier Hill brings down Murray for to leave a third and one here. And Murray will get the first down anyway. Throwing on third and one to Trey Burton for the first down with under eight minutes to play. Here's Kyler Murray running right side. Murray taken off. Van Der Esch forces the fumble. It's picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey down the left sideline. Nobody's going to be able to catch him. Five touchdown, Jalen Ramsey. Picks up the scoop and he scores the touchdown. We got a flag on the play. They call holding against Trey Burton. Easy decline. Rams get the points on the board and they lead 35-3 against a team who played them really tough last year but just hasn't come out playing well this year as D-Hop on a third and 10 keeps the drive alive with a first down play. Second and 10. Here's Murray looking for an open receiver. The problem is the coverage has been good and Alex Peterson with his second and a half sack of the evening. Leaving a third and 17 for Kyler and company. Kyler over to D-Hop, it's intercepted by Jair Alexander. It could be Ramsey, it could be Jair, it does not matter. D-Hop has been on lockdown today. Third and six, underneath throw to Cam Akers, just trying to pick up the first down and continue to chew some clock here late in this game. 2.45 to go, Carter on a second and goal, looking to throw, but he's actually not. He's gonna take off into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown of the night. Touchdown, Jamal Carter. Rams up 42-3. Kyler Murray with his last shot here from the Ram 42. Thrown over to D-Hop. That's complete. That goes for a first down. Now they're going to play fake to James White, and he's hit from behind by Tack McKinley. Second and 19. Kyler Murray looking to run this one. Instead, he's going to throw it. He's intercepted. Kamu Grugier Hill is going to have room to run more green than Josh Gordon's weed stash. Shout out to my boy Jack slash Legion slash Nitro Drive. If you know him, if you know, you know. And there's the touchdown for Kamu as it's 49 to three, the final score here in St. Louis. A sheer blowout. We haven't seen one of these in a really long time here in St. Louis and the crowd is happy about it. The Rams are going to three and oh. Jamal Carter, 12 of 18 on the day. Didn't ask him to do a ton, 181 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Kyler Murray though, he had his fair share of problems against this secondary. Three interceptions. Cam Akers ran for 110 and two touchdowns. Jamal Carter himself ran in for two touchdowns, three total for him on the day. In the receiving game, Trey Burton was the biggest threat with 115 yards. Burley had 55 and a touchdown. He played quite well this, at, this evening. And as we take a look at the defensive stats, look at all the tackles out there. Kamu Grugier Hill, what a day for him. 12 tackles, three TFLs, two sacks. Peterson had two and a half. Leighton Van Der Esch got in for one. Picks by Jair, David Long, Kamu Grugier Hill. It doesn't matter. Everybody out there just giving their all. The force fumbles, the recoveries, two defensive touchdowns. This Rams team was on all cylinders tonight, and that really made a world of a difference. However, Cam Akers did not do enough to get his X-Factor, so that's the sad part. 
But Kamu Grukie Hill does get Week 3 Defensive Player of the Week in the NFC with 12 tackles, 2 sacks, a pick, a forced fumble, and a defensive touchdown. That is just a lot. So we'll take a look at the Week 3 scores. Pittsburgh over London. The Texans beat the Titans. The Cowboys beat the Saints. The Jets take down the Chiefs. Lions beat the Falcons, Giants over the Jags, Browns over the Ravens, Bills over the Bengals, Broncos over the Colts, Patriots take down the Dolphins, Seattle over Vegas, Eagles over Bears, Bucks over Washington, 49ers over Carolina, Packers over Mini, and of course, we won the Thursday night football matchup in big fashion. We had the week off in week number four, so I thought I'd just show those scores as well in this episode. Washington barely beats Dallas, but they do get a win. Cincinnati over Tampa. Green Bay over Philly. Cleveland takes down the Jets. Texans beat the Broncos. The Steelers lose to the Panthers. Jaguars over the Bulldogs. Giants over the Vikings. Seattle over San Fran. KC over Arizona. New England over Buffalo. Baltimore over Indy. New Orleans over Atlanta. And Detroit takes an L as well. So the Browns and the Bengals tied at the top of the AFC North at 3-1. Texans are 4-0. The Titans are 0-3. A little bit surprising. Patriots and Jets tied for the lead in the AFC East, but nobody's worse than 500 in that division. Chiefs leading the West, no surprise there, at 3-1. and one. NFC North, Packers at 3-1, and one, Lions at 2-2, two and two, and both other teams are undefeat or winless, my bad. Saints and Panthers tied at 2-2. Two and two. Football team and Giants are both 3-1, and one. and in our division, the Seahawks are 4-0. Oh, we're 3-0. Oh. Niners are 2-2, two and, two, and the Cardinals are 0-4. Oh our next opponent is the great Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see what they have in store for us. Tyree Kill, Pat Mahomes still together, still a crazy duo, and they're going to be tough to beat, along with Travis Kelsey, who's getting a little more up there in age. They did sign Alejandro Villanueva, who definitely is going to help them at left tackle, but I'm hoping that our pass rush can be as good as it has been and get to them anyway. Their defense doesn't scare me all that much, so I'm hoping that Jamal Carter can take advantage of some weak linebackers and some weak corners to really get some points up on this board. It should be a shootout. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. It's all we do here. We can build a winner together. If you want to see more franchise, make sure you click right here to see some more franchise.